Welcome to the homework for lesson two of module four. This is first grade. Get your name on here first. Now you might notice that this says lesson two core edition fluency review. These pages for this lesson, they aren't labeled uh, um, by a problem set or homework or exit ticket as they usually are. But uh, if you're going to get a couple of pages of homework for this lesson, they're probably going to be these two. So that's why I'm going to call them homework for lesson two. Write the tens and ones and complete the statement. So just like in lesson one, we're seeing groups of ten. If you zoom in, I'll do it again here. You zoom in and count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten straws in that bundle. And there isn't going to be you know anything else like that. That's how you're going to see it. There's going to be ten. This bundle two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So all these bundles or groups or bags or baskets or whatever they are, just count them as tens. And uh, it helps to circle groups of ten, ten, twenty, thirty, and count them. That's one, two, three, tens. We're not going to write 30 here. We're not going to do that. We're writing how many tens there are. There are three groups of 10. And then we have one, two, three, four ones for 34 straws. And same thing here 10, 20. We're not going to write the number 20 here where it says tens in the box because there's two groups of 10, not 20 groups of 10. And there's one, two, three peanuts, or three ones. There are 23 peanuts. And this transition can be, it's harder for, sometimes it's tricky, sometimes you think you have it and then you don't, but eventually you won't have to even think about it. So it's how many groups of 10 there are. One, two, three, there's three groups of 10. Three tens, not thirty tens, right? Because that's what goes in this box is how many tens there are. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, six ones, thirty-six strawberries. And here we have two tens and nine ones. And if you want, you can count the ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But I just looked here, like this is a like a ten frame. There's a five group row, and then there here's I can tell that this is four because it's got one missing it's like you know so that's one missing from 10 is 9 29 beads and now here's a crate of apples there's 10 that's one crate of 10 and then we have another nine group here 19 apples and here we have two groups of 10 and six ones for 26 carats And now we're writing tens and ones, same as before. Now we're looking at the uh, Diana's cubes here. And we have two ten sticks and four ones for 24 cubes. And here we have one, two, three ten sticks and six ones. That's 36 cubes. And here we have one, two, three tens. Not 30 tens, there's only three of them. We're counting groups of 10, that's how many put, how many tens there are is what goes in that tens box. Not how many cubes there are, but how many tens there are. And now how many ones we have that are loose. Here's five and four more, that's nine. 39. Two groups of 10. And then here's four here and four there, or two, four, two, four, six, eight, eight ones, 28 cubes. However you like to count them, it's fine. Write the missing numbers, say them the regular way and the say 10 way. <clears throat> now, if you don't know the say 10 way, the say, this is how you're going to say it. So the regular way for this one is... 
23. That's the regular way. Say 10 way is 2 tens, 3 ones. Some people will just say 2 tens, 3. But I'll say the ones. 2 tens, 3 ones. So this is the say 10 way, saying it out loud. 3 tens, 2 ones. The regular way, 32. It's important to say these things out loud and practice saying them out loud because it really does help. This is just nine ones or nine. When there's a zero here, you can say zero tens, nine ones. That's okay too, but usually you just say nine ones, four tens, zero ones, or just four tens. Either way is fine. Say ten way. And this is just 40 regular way. Choose a number less than 40, make a math drawing to represent it, and fill in the number bond and place value chart. All right, so I'm going to write the number 3 tens, 7 ones. So there's a number less than 40. I'm going to make a math drawing to represent it. 3 quick tens, 5, 6, 7. And then I'm going to fill in the number bond and place value. Place value chart is this right here. I just did I did that first. And now I'm looking at tens. I've got 10, 20, 30. Be careful with the number bond that you don't write you don't write it like this. This is not a place value chart. So here the numbers have to actually add up. This would be three and seven, and that should be ten, not thirty-seven. So this is an important trick to watch when you're transitioning from place value charts to number bonds. Don't be fooled by this. This is three tens. That's 30. And 30 and 7 is 37.